To Arlington, all of this is relatively new. But Mayor C.T. Wagner of Grand Prairie is a veteran campaigner in this war with the railroads. And so we talked to him. What has been your reaction to this on their part? Well, of course, we intend to file a lawsuit momentarily and uh, contest uh, the contract. And we intend to do everything that we can to uh, get these gates installed. Matter of fact, we intend to get the gates installed. Uh, we're also going to enact our ordinance again. And we intend to enforce this ordinance, which fines up to $200 per day for each day that the gates are not installed in this city. Bob Gooding, Channel 8 News. Uh, we found it to be um, such a, an efficient uh, answer to the problems that we have for individual transportation that I feel sure that we're going to continue to use it just as we have in the past. But the automobile itself in supplying an answer supplies also more problems such as air pollution and mm -hmm. uh, finances. We need more money for roads and so forth. Is there an answer to this? Yes, uh, so would any other answer uh, that you might utilize, uh, such as mass transit that's been uh, proposed, uh, jet transportation by individual backpack, or any other form that you uh, propose, you'll also have some problems with that. A recent survey that has been uh, made available to us uh, shows that uh, the overwhelming uh, majority of people prefer the automobile to any other mode of transportation. We in Arlington are, of course, terribly concerned about the tragic loss of life at our railroad crossings. Naturally, we're worried for the safety of our own residents, but for that matter, uh, for any of those who drive our streets, for example, these two young people who lost their lives at this particular crossing uh, were visitors in the city. We have tried for the last year to year and a half to effect a satisfactory arrangement with Texas and Pacific Railroad uh, in order that uh, these crossing gates, which would be such a safety factor, could be installed at so many of the intersections in the community. Those negotiations have not uh, borne fruit. The railroad has not been agreeable to what we believe to be a fair 50-50 basis for paying for the installation of these gates. We think it is unfortunate, we think it is uh, outrageous actually that uh, they are not uh, willing to participate to a greater extent.